Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm coming on guys because this is going to be an organize my refrigerator video. I might do my um, revolving um, sh um, cabinet too with all the spices and everything. That has to be cleaned out and wiped down and I have to organize it. But I'm not sure if I'm going to get to that, but I'm definitely going to get to the refrigerator right now because the refrigerator is just a barrel of stuff. There is so much stuff in there. I got stuff downstairs. I got stuff upstairs. You know, I got that stuff down in the um, in the freezer, refrigerator, refrigerator downstairs that I have to organize yet. But I want to get this refrigerator straightened up first before I start with the um, with the next with, with with stuff downstairs. So let's get started with the fridge. Um, we have. There's leftovers from yesterday that we're going to utilize this week. But right now, I just want to get this refrigerator in order. Most of those leftovers are downstairs. But anyway, so let's get the stuff out. Um, I have stuff in here. There's extras. Well, I made, I made Cooper's food yesterday, as you guys saw the video from yesterday. And um, so I have that food in here. But I have to organize and see where I'm going to put all that, if I'm going to keep that... I think I'm going to keep that, the, the, the object is to keep his food up here because I'm not going to run downstairs every time I need his food. I need it in the morning, I need it in the evening. I'm not going to be doing that. So I want to make it as convenient as possible. So I'm going to really make it so I can keep his food up here. Um, there are some things in here that definitely need to come out and be taken out, you know. Um, so that's how I'll start. Garbage can. Some stuff that's in the back there that, you know, hasn't gotten eaten. I got cream cheese, I got mayo. I got a couple of mayo in here because what happens is sometimes when um, we can't find the mayonnaise, then we're, we're like, oh, we don't have it. Maybe we're, we're out of it in the fridge and then we go in the cabinet and get another one and then we come to find out that the other one was in there just was buried somewhere you know how that goes guys buffalo sauce yeah see here's another mayo here <laughs> see buffalo sauce another mayonnaise so now i got two mayo see that's just what i'm talking about lordy lordy so i'm feeling better today um Yesterday was okay. Yesterday I was, I was okay. I didn't have any, um, my stomach seems to be better. I'm trying to eat, um, more mildly and stuff. So, um, trying to eat the brat diet, you know, that brat diet, that's the toast, the banana, the peanut butter, that kind of stuff, stuff that, um, just won't, you know, um, affect my, my stomach too much. I'm just trying to Wait out. I have an appointment at the doctor on the 26th of the, this month, so we're going to go and see what he has to say. And the nutritionist, maybe they can just tell me, maybe I have to eat differently. I, I don't know. We'll see, guys. But I'm doing a lot better, and uh, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. So I'm just pushing through everything and getting going and doing videos. Um, that's what I'm doing. So let's just take this stuff out. I got coleslaw still in here that I made the other day. Here's rice from leftover from yesterday. I got the breakfast sausage here. I'll probably put this in the freezer, the breakfast sausage, because I don't want to keep it in the fridge. I feel like a, I feel like some apple juice. I keep these little apple juices. I forgot that I had these apple juices in here. When Jen comes, but I feel like an apple juice right now. I'm gonna have an apple juice. Um. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do. Um, I think I'm gonna do a live this this week. I might do a live. Eat with me this week. Um. So, I'll let you know about that. All right. 
I got these. I got to situate those. Figure out what I'm going to do with them. Put them in the. Fr I'm probably going to put them in the freezer because there's a lot of them. of the eggplant that I didn't eat. That that small eggplant guys was even too big. <sighs> was even too big for me. But it was delicious. It was really, really good. Sweet apple, sausages. Seriously. Here's my container that I put the cheese in. Let's get that together. All right, let's see. So I bought these, you know, I, I keep refrigerated. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I could freeze these because I've frozen them before. I'm going to just defrost them. I just want to make sure, but I'm sure. It doesn't say, it says you could refrigerate them, but it doesn't say you could freeze, but I, I know I freeze and I've frozen these before. Oh, zip it. All right. Well, we'll put that there. Oh. Um, chicken wings from yesterday. I have chicken tenders from the other day. God, Linda. Apples. Asparagus. Here are the, the egg rolls that I made yesterday. I have those. What is this? Oh, this is pork, that pork. Um, there's a pork chop in here. And potatoes. I might have that tonight. I might. That's what I might do. I might have left. We might have leftovers tonight. If not tomorrow, this I got leftovers. You know, to eat. So. Cabbage. 
cabbage, more bacon. Look, guys, Cooper got his lamb chop. Cooper got his lamb chop. Where is he? Where is he? Get it. Get your lamb chop. Get your lamb chop. Get your lamb chop. Get that lamb chop. Get, get my <laughs> That's his new toy. That's it. Give it. He loves it. He loves playing with his new toy. Come on, bring it here. Come on, Coop. Come on. Oh, give mommy that toy. Give mommy that toy. Give me that toy. He runs away with it. <laughs> cute, guys. So cute. Keeps me alive and happy. He keeps me alive and smiling. All right. Ah. Lots of stuff going on here. Lots of stuff going on here. I don't even know where to begin with this stuff. Jeez. So here we got the cheese stuff, cream cheese, more cream cheese, more cheese, what is this, onion? You know, it's just not knowing uh, what's in here. I, like it's when you go, you know, to look for something and you don't know that you have it because you don't know what the heck you have. It's crazy. All right, so we got all the cheese in order. I actually have, um, I had two big blocks of cheese downstairs that I got to use up um, this week. I'm have to make something. Two uh, cheddar cheeses. Um, all right, let's put this back in here. That's my husband. All right. So I got all this. I have turkey that we have to eat. We have to get through. I have salami in here. I have pepperoni. Um, bacon. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of these. These are going to go in the freezer. I have two packages of these. They're going to go in the freezer. Like with the other things. And um, the sausage I think I'm going to keep in the fridge because I think Frankie and I will eat it. I will, we will we'll eat them so they don't have to go in the oh, they don't have to go in the freezer. What are you doing, buddy? <clears throat> right at mommy's kahunia. This is um a pasta salad that Julie bought yesterday that she made. So so good. So I'm just gonna put that in here. Butter. I you know I I can't. 
stand when I don't know what I have in my, in my refrigerator. I just can't stand it. Because then you can't, then you don't utilize anything. If you don't know what you have, you can't utilize it, you know, obviously. I have marinara sauce there. This is a leftover. This is some pasta salad. That's just the pasta. I'm going to throw that out because I have more in there. Too bad. I thought I had a lot more waste in here, but I don't. I, I'm, it's pretty. It's pretty okay. Pretty okay. Um. But see, here's Cooper's food. I got. There's um, one, two, three, four. Um, four. I have four meals for him, and then. Rice, which is also will will you know will be split into the four. So I'm going to put those in here. So four meals. So by by tomorrow by um, Wednesday, I'll have to you know make some more, and I'll make more. I'll make more um, more of a batch Wednesday. You know, I'll make more of a um, cantaloupe. I'll make a bigger batch of them, I'm trying to say. Mm. So I got bacon too, I should stick in the freezer because I buy bacon and we like bacon. I love bacon, but I don't eat that that much, you know? Uh, Unless I have like a specific recipe. I hate to put it in the freezer because then it's frozen, but it doesn't really matter. Just to floss it. Oh, zip it. Ah, I'm going to put it in there because it's better than wasting it. I don't want to waste it. I'm not going to leave it in there and then not eat it and then say, I should use it, you know. Cottage cheese, sour cream. Blue cheese. Blue cheese crumbles, parmesan. Now at least I know what I got. And what are you doing? Hmm? Where's lamb chop? Where's your lamb chop, buddy? Let me see if I can combine these mayonnaises. Let me This is, I don't remember when I made this sauce. I think this is like marinara as well. I hate when there's not enough room on my door because I hate to put the um, the condiments and stuff on in the fridge, but what are you gonna do? If you, if you don't have room on your door, you gotta put them in your fridge. Right, right. All right, so. Are you gonna go in the freezer?
I'm going to put these downstairs in the freezer downstairs. And this one I'm going to put, keep up in the fridge. Because I'll probably be making more of those. My husband is, is addicted to them. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so. Um, I have a lot in that. I got to empty out that crisp drawer. Rice, coleslaw. more cheese, and here's that pork chop. salami leftover shrimp and and these I'm going to throw out because those are old um, I have chopped meat this is leftover rotel I think I'll just stick this in my freezer this way. I have that to add to a um, to add to a, um, a meal. Egg rolls, and let's see what I got down in this crisper drawer, guys. Oh God. Uh, we'll do the mayonnaise. Let's combine these mayonnaises into each other. Might as well save some room. Get it all out. Can't waste nothing today. Nothing. Alright. Let's get a nap a paper towel. What are you doing, cutie? You said the cutie. And we only got one container to deal with. Alright, let's take what's in here and see what we have. And then I gotta go down. I'm gonna take you guys downstairs and show you downstairs because the refrigerator downstairs is loaded with 
the stuff that I, I need that I have to bring up here and I have to I have to um, separate and get into the freezer. Carrots, more carrots and more carrots. Oh, I have Brussels sprouts in here. Oh guys, I have, what am I gonna do? I have um, salad that I bought yesterday. A little bit more, more. I have leftover Brussels sprouts, carrots. I have freaking pie crust. I wonder if I can refreeze. Can you, Alexa. Can you refreeze pie crust? Yes, you can freeze pie crust. Freezing it before baking can make it harder and less flaky, but it's possible to defrost gently in the refrigerator. Yeah, but you didn't tell me, can I refreeze it? Comment down below, guys, if you know if I can refreeze pie crust. If you know. If you know, let me know. Chili. Oh, zip it. Produce. Oh, dill. Oh, my goodness. Broccoli. God darn it. Broccoli. I got to take this broccoli. I'm going to rinse it off and I'm going to, um, I'm going to cut it up and put it in a Ziploc bag. That's what I'm going to do with all this, with, with this stuff because it, otherwise, it's going to go bad, and I can't have that. Oh, I got radishes. I want to make the radishes. Oh, jeez, Linda. Linda! Jalapenos. More celery. More celery. All right. So, <clears throat> I'm putting this stuff back. I have three cucumbers in here. I have a bag of carrots here. Half, you know, half used that I used this weekend for Cooper. Um, I have a half a, ca a head of cabbage. I have a red pepper that's literally getting soft on its way out. I either got to freeze it or do something with it. Shit, I don't know what to, what to do with this, this, this pie crust. I'm going to put it in here for now and then figure out, figure out what to do with it. Be quiet. Here it is, buddy. Um, I mean, I guess I can make a pie with it. <laughs> I gotta make an apple, maybe I'll make an apple pie. I gotta make something with it. I have this orange pepper that's still good. I have these apples that are good. Just bought those. And I have to, like I said, I have to go downstairs. I have um, asparagus that I'm gonna make tomorrow night with dinner. I have the rest of these Brussels sprouts, which I'm definitely gonna make. I have um, my salad here. Uh, I just want to make sure that I don't get these Brussels, these um, asparagus messed up. I have an avocado that's that's dead. It's dead. It's it's done. It's been in there for a while. So that's gone. I'm gonna put these blueberries in with these can with this cantaloupe. I'll be quiet. I was giving Cooper some blueberries before. Me and him were sharing. He loves blueberries. And they're good for dogs, blueberries. Very good for dogs. <coughs> Take my son's home. I'm gonna take you guys downstairs in a minute. I'll show you the figure eight downstairs. One second. All right, so I'm just doing the dishes. I did a lot of them. I'm gonna empty this in the garbage. Snowstorm tomorrow. Almost like a foot, they said. Yeah, fun, fun. But 
I'm excited because every, I mean I'm excited, but I'm okay. I'm glad because um, everybody will be home. So as long as everybody's safe, my family's safe. That's all I care about. The snow don't bother me as long as I know my family and friends are safe. So yeah. So we're supposed to get like a foot, I think, or something. So, yeah. It's February. Love dishes. Just love them. I'm the dishwasher. My hubby and I are the dishwashers. I've had dishwashers before. I don't know. Yeah. You know, it's like the thing. The thing with dishwashers is, okay, if you put everything in the dishwasher, then you gotta unload the dishwasher and then fill the dishwasher. <laughs> Which is worse, I don't know. Washing dishes or putting it in, in and out of the dishwasher. I don't know. They're both a sense of dread. Everything is freaking falling. I hate to run the water like, I like to shut it, scrub, and then rinse because, you know, the hot water, the oil, so freaking expensive. I'm telling you. It was four hundred dollars three weeks, two weeks ago. Four hundred dollars six weeks before that. You know, it's just crazy, guys. And it's only three of us. Guys. Only three of us now. But the oil prices, and they've, and they've gone down. Like they've gone down. And that, and that is only for 100 gallons, what we got. We usually, usually get 150 gallons.
the um, the cheese, um, the queso, a uh, little crock pot soaking because it was sitting overnight. We didn't do it last night. And so we're soaking it now. That's it right now. favorite team win last night guys? My my family wasn't really that happy. They wanted uh, the other team to win. <laughs> the team that didn't win. <laughs> I gotta rinse those, um, I gotta rinse the broccoli off, figure out what I'm gonna do with those freaking jalapenos. I don't know if I'm gonna get downstairs right now because I'm getting a little petered out. But we'll see, let me give me, let me assess. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm gonna cut this broccoli up into florets and then I'm gonna put it in the strainer and wash them good and then put them in a container. And then, and this way I have them, you know, I have it ready. Cause I like to eat them raw as well as cooked. But like I said um, yesterday that um, raw, the raw broccoli seems to react better to my stomach than, um, than cooked broccoli. Why? I don't know, but it does. cutting them into florets. Almost lost that. Almost lost it. See, this is why this thing is great, guys. Look. Right in here. Yep. That was my avocado. <laughs> I love my avocado cutting board. Why 
I was going to save these, but I don't need to. I have a lot of frozen um, frozen veggies in the freezer still, you know, for the next stock, so. Don't need to save those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel these radishes up. And I'm going to, like, boil them like potatoes. Because if you watch Rhonda from Rhonda's Country Kitchen, um, she makes these radishes like they almost like potatoes. Like she cooks them like potatoes because she's doing low carb. And she said they taste just like potatoes. They really do. They, they taste just like potatoes. So um, I'm going to try it. So I'm just peeling them. I love radishes. A lot of people don't like radishes. I like them. I think the other day when I was talking about them, I was talking, I was saying beets. I meant to say radishes, guys. If you, if I think I was in the food store and shop right now, I was saying I have to find the, the beets, but I was looking, I was thinking, I was really talking about radishes, but I don't know why I just had beets in my head. So, yeah. If you don't know what a radish it is, ra radish it is. If you don't know what a radish is, it's an onion. You know, it's a, in the onion family. It's very good. But you have to like onions. A little spicy. It's not really spicy. It has a little kick, but it's not, you know. I like them in salads. I rarely buy them really eat them but like you know when I, if I'm out and I have a salad or something you know with radishes in them I enjoy them but um yeah after I saw Rhonda's um video I was like oh I gotta try that because anything that tastes like a potato to me and is not you know doesn't have a lot of carbs in it it's a win for me but you know with my situation it's just ridiculous because like the things that I should that I could, I should be eating now because of my whole stomach situation, I can't really eat because of the diabetes. So it's like they say to eat, you know, boiled potatoes. They say to eat, you know, um, rice, you know, and all that, and, and all that is very high in glycemic. So that makes my sugar my sugar, uh, you know, raise. And so like <clears throat> if I'm if I have to eat bland. Like, what am I going to eat? Dry toast? No, that ain't, cut, I ain't, that ain't cutting it. It ain't cutting it. So before what I had for, um, for breakfast, I had a piece of toast. And I had um, a smear of peanut butter on it, which I say peanut butter is good for your stomach ailments and all that. 
and um, they said banana. So I, I smushed a banana. I smushed. I, I made a piece of rye toast, and I put the I put the peanut butter on the banana, and then I smashed. I put the peanut butter on the rye toast, and then I um, smashed the banana on it. Put that on top of it, and then I put. Um, is that all I had? Yeah. And so I had toast with peanut butter and a banana. It was very, very good. And my stomach was fine afterwards. I haven't had the V word. I had a little bit um, last night, but not much. And then um, this morning I got up and um, I thought I was going to have some earlier, but it didn't happen. Sometimes I feel like I, I can't go and sometimes I feel like I can't. I don't know. TMI, guys. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm trying to eat a little bit bland, but, you know, I'm not going crazy because I'm not eating the shit, but I just, I want to, you know, it is what it is. And radishes are a pain in the ass if you're going to, if you're going to sit here and peel them. So I'm not going to be doing this. I can't news for you. I wonder if, if I forgot if Rhonda did it in the, with the skin on. I don't know, but I'm not going to be doing this. This is a pain in the ass. <laughs> pain in the ass. So, it's just me and Frank. Billy's my, Billy works Mondays. Um, he goes in at 4 and he works. Probably doesn't get home till after midnight. And then he's off Tuesday and Wednesday. And then he goes, he works Thursday from very early in the morning till like 9, 10 o'clock at night. And then he works, sometimes he works Fridays, sometimes he doesn't. But I heard that the, he's going to be working more Fridays, so who knows. Um, he's on call for Fridays, but he doesn't always work Fridays. But if he gets called in, he has to go in, otherwise he doesn't get paid. And there's like five radishes here. <laughs> but I'm going to boil them. Because I want to, I really am curious to see how they're going to, how they're going to um, taste. And like I said, they're onions. Mmm. You're good. I like rashes. I'm going to boil these until they're soft again. And then eat it. We'll see how it is, how they are. It's definitely a little spicy as an onion. <laughs> it's good though. I know downstairs I have cauliflower. I have more Paper towels now. Okay. I 
love my avocado cutting board. this way now what I want some broccoli here they are it's not even I can't throw right one <clears throat> what the hell is that And I should do that with the cauliflower too because I really want to make some cauliflower fries. Put them in the air fryer. Not, not fries, wings. Cauliflower wings. But I'll put them in the air fryer. So here it is, guys. All right, guys, so I'm going to end this video. I'm going to be back with another video, and I'll let you know how these little radish things turned out. I'm, I'm going to show you them. I'm definitely going to video that, so don't worry. I hope you guys enjoyed this organizing video and stuff. Don't forget to hit that subscribers button, because when you subscribe, it really helps my channel grow, and I so, so appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that notification button with that bell, so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. And thank you so much for coming into my kitchen with me and organizing and creating. Love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.